Hello children, I welcome all of you in today's English session. We are on page number 28. Lesson number 13, Sultan Giyasuddin in Qazi's court. Hundreds of years ago, in eastern province of Bengal, Sultan Giyasuddin Azam Shah ruled the land. His capital was Sonargao. Sultan Giyasuddin was a good ruler. He ruled wisely and well. He respected men of learning. He had a deep regard for law. One day, while the Sultan was practicing with his bow and arrows, he accidentally wounded the only son of poor widow. The wounded boy did not survive. Weeping and wailing, the poor widow went to Kazi and told him what had happened. The Kazi was an honest and upright man. He sent an officer to summon the Sultan to his court. When the officer reached the palace, the guard stopped him and inquired about his business. When they learned that he had come to serve a summons on, on the Sultan, they were shocked. They refused to let him go inside the palace. The officer was now in a fix. The guards did not allow him to enter the palace, but he knew that he could not return without serving the summons. The Kazi could not take him back. He had to find a way of reaching the Sultan somehow. What could he do? He thought and thought. At last, he began to sound the azan, the call for prayer, loudly, just outside the palace. It was not yet time for the prayer. When the Sultan heard the loud, untimely call, he was greatly surprised. He ordered that man giving the call should be brought before him immediately. His soldiers rushed out of the palace gate caught the officer and took him to the Sultan within moments. When the officer knelt before the Sultan, he was trembling with fear. But he mustered all his courage and explained why he had given the call for Azar. Then, with shaking hands, he gave the summons to Sultan. Sultan Giyasuddin took it without making any comment. He read the summons and told the officer to go back to the Kazi. He announced that he, could, he would appear in Kazi's court the next day. The next morning, the Sultan got ready to appear before the Kazi. He hid a sharp sword in his robe and set out. The courtroom was packed with people. Everyone was eager to see what would happen. The Kazi entered and took his place on the high seat of honor. In a little while, Sultan Yasuddin entered the courtroom. Everyone stood up to show respect to Sultan. But the Kazi did not get up. The Sultan stood in docks and the trial began. The widow presented her complaint. The Kazi took note of all the evidence and in a grave voice addressed the Sultan. You are guilty of causing the death of the only son of this poor widow. According to law, you must pay fine for this offense. I order you to do that without delay. The Sultan accepted the judgment and apologized to the widow. He arranged to pay the fine immediately. The widow felt satisfied that the offense was brought home to the offender. When the case was over, the Kazi got up from the high seat of honor respectfully. He bowed to Sultan and expected him to take his seat. The Sultan then drew the hidden sword from his robe and told the Kazi, I am happy that you did not waver in your duty. You did not hesitate to punish me, otherwise I would have beheaded you with this, with this sword. The Kazi then put his hand under the cushion where the Sultan was seated and brought out a whip. He said, Your Majesty, I am happy because you obeyed the law, otherwise I would have whipped you in this court. The Sultan then got up and embraced the Kazi. Thank God we both did our duty, he said. Everyone present in the courtroom praised the two great men. So children, we read a story named Sultan Giyasuddin in the Qazi's court. In the story, Sultan Giyasuddin, the ruler of province of Bengal, is justly punished by the Qazi. He is punished for accidentally killing the son of a poor widow. The Qazi completes his duty very diligently. He very aptly treats the Sultan as any other common man. The story also talks about how the Sultan respects the law of the land. Thus, 
we see that both the sultan and the qazi discharge their duties properly in the end justice is done so children this was all about sultan giyasuddin in qazi's court on page number 78 in your workbook there are quick check questions you have to complete those questions in your notebook read the lesson 3 times and also from page number 80 complete your workbook in neat and clean handwriting thank you bye